But even whip spiders were not the most formidable hunters in these forests. There were others with an even more venomous weaponry. This centipede has powerful jaws, poison fangs, and is very, very fast. It's a very good hunter. But it's only half as long as my little finger. There are centipedes in the world, however, that are as big as my forearm. This is one of these alarming giants. It's over 13 inches, 35 centimeters long, and with the muscular strength of a small snake. And the poison in its black-tipped fangs is lethal. It hunts in the dark, bat-haunted caves of Venezuela. Like the whip spider and the velvet worm, it uses its antennae to feel for its victims. The beetles that swarm on the rocky floor of the cave are of no interest to it. It's after bigger prey. And it knows it can find that by climbing. Its many legs give it a secure hold on the vertical rocks. It's heading for the ceiling. Now in the darkness, it can sense bats flying past it. Holding on with its hind legs, it reaches out into their flight path and almost immediately, it has one. An injection of venom from its fangs kills the bat almost instantaneously. It will take it an hour or so, but it will eat all the bat's flesh. This is a millipede. Millipedes are not insects, but belong with the insects in the phylum Arthropoda. All arthropods have bodies made of many parts or segments. They also have an exoskeleton, which is a hard covering on the outside of their bodies that functions like a skeleton. Arthropod means jointed legs or appendages. Appendages of arthropods may be modified for feeling, feeding, walking, and sometimes swimming. Millipede means thousand feet, but millipedes actually have between 50 and 150 pairs of legs. Millipedes have segmented antennae Millipedes spend most of their life in moist soil and decaying vegetation, where they also overwinter. Millipedes are often confused with centipedes because they look similar, but they are really quite different. It is important to be able to tell millipedes and centipedes apart because some centipedes have poisonous bites. Millipedes do not. Millipedes have a body that is divided into a head and a cylindrical or long tube-like trunk. The trunk is segmented. 
adult millipedes have two pairs of legs attached to most body segments. Matching legs on each side of a millipede move together, and many of its legs touch the ground at the same time. This movement of the legs enables the millipede to glide along smoothly. The legs also can help push the animal through rotting wood and soil. Millipedes have a number of ways to defend themselves. One way is to run and hide in narrow cracks or burrow into the soil. Some kinds of millipedes coil into a spiral, and in this way, the hard exoskeleton protects them from predators. Millipedes hide from light. They are active at night. Watch them eat cucumber in the dark. Millipedes use mandibles for chewing. Millipedes are nature's recyclers. Since they are scavengers, they eat just about any dead plant material. Most kinds of millipedes eat decaying leaves and wood and other small pieces of dead plants. Dead organic material is also called detritus. Detritus feeders break down plant material by chewing it. During digestion, carbon dioxide is returned to the atmosphere to be reabsorbed by living plants. Without detritus feeders, our soils and water bodies would be buried in dead organic materials. Many millipedes have eyes at the sides of their head. Adult millipedes need to mate in order for the female to lay fertile eggs. In the spring, millipedes lay from 20 to 300 eggs in the soil. In order to grow, young millipedes have to molt often. With each molt, additional segments and legs are added to the body until the millipede reaches maturity. Sexual maturity is reached in two to five years, depending on the species.